to be honest, when I saw that, this is when I started to panic. Okay, this is when I started to question, okay, are we in trouble here? Now it's no secret that AI is evolving at an alarming rate, okay? And I think there is a general concern with web designers that eventually their jobs are going to be replaced. Now, if you're in a position where you're thinking about starting a web design business, thinking about becoming a web designer, or are even at the early stages of your web design business, we're gonna be covering in this video whether it's something that you should generally be concerned about or whether it is something that you should just fully embrace and use it to positively improve your business. So if you are questioning whether you should get into web design or not, don't worry, you're not alone. I've got plenty of students in my Agency Alchemist program who have also asked me the same question. You know, Are they going to have jobs in one to five years time, for example? And honestly, from what I've seen with AI so far, I think you have a right to be scared because it is, it is quite scary. Things are changing very, very fast and we don't really know what's gonna happen in the future. It's something that I have been concerned with myself. Okay, but after doing research and just exploring how other people, uh, other agencies, other businesses, other web designers are using AI already, I think overall, personally, I think we're gonna be okay. I think more than anything, it's actually, it's actually going to help us and it's gonna allow us to be better versions of ourselves. It's gonna allow us to become better web designers. It's gonna allow our businesses to offer better solutions to our clients. Now, first of all, let's talk about ChatGPT. Okay, everyone and their dog pretty much knows about ChatGPT now. But ultimately, ChatGPT has been a great tool for myself and for my business because it's allowed us to improve our copyright services or copywriting services, shall I say. ChatGPT, if you input a prompt, it will return pretty much what it is that you are asking for as long as it is text-based. So we can now create website copy or blog articles or SEO content using ChatGPT and we can refine it ourselves with very little input from a copywriter, which means that we're not actually having to physically hire a copywriter. And also we're not actually having to ask our client to supply the copy if they generally don't have time to do so. This was one of the biggest pain points within our business was asking the client to supply the copy and then that holding up the entire project. Okay, that no longer needs to be a problem because we can, we can support them. We can offer them that additional service. We can help them a little bit more by taking it off their plate and just doing it ourselves. And we now have the AI tools available to be able to do that, okay? So that's, in my opinion, one really big benefit about AI and implementing it into your web design business. Now, I don't know what that means for copywriters. Honestly, I'm sure as, I mean, I'm not a copywriter, but I'm sure as a copywriter, you found that you've been able to develop and implement AI or ChatGPT or any other tool into your workflow to create better versions of the copy that you are writing, I'm, I'm sure of it. Okay, now another really popular AI tool, which might have a few web designers concerned, certainly graphic designers, is the likes of Midjourney. Also, Adobe's creating Firefly, which is another AI image tool, which seems really, really awesome too. So both of these tools will allow you to create any type of image that you want based on a series of prompts. And also it creates fairly lifelike mock-ups of website designs. Now it's not perfect, but who knows where that's gonna go in the future. But again, there's no reason why we can't embrace these tools and implement it into our workflow to create better versions of our work. Okay, we can use Midjourney to create photography for our websites, to create visual assets, for the website designs. You can use it to create inspiration mock-ups or website design examples based on prompts that you input or something that you're looking for. So for example, if you're looking for a car garage website, you could ask for it to produce your car garage website uh, mock-up and you can take that and you can then create that into the likes of Figma or Adobe XD and you can have a very good starting point in terms of inspiration. Okay, again, I don't think that these things are going to replace jobs. But now, moving on even further, we're starting to see AI implemented into our web design tools, okay? I know that Webflow have released AI within their tool. I know that Elementor have released AI within their tool as well, which, to be honest, when I saw that, this is when I started to panic, okay? This is when I started to question, okay, are we in trouble here? I'm an Elementor user myself. I don't use Webflow, but I have played around with it and I know a lot of people use it. A lot of you watching this perhaps use it as well. But I am using Elementor and I know what that is now capable of in terms of AI. So I'm gonna share that with you now. 
First of all, you've got the text-based prompts, okay? It's almost implemented the, the capability of ChatGPT and simplified it and brought that into the Elemental engine. So this means that when we are natively building the website into Elementor, we have the ability to ask it text-based prompts to write content for us, okay? Now this is really, really smart because as a web designer who isn't really all that great at copywriting, okay, it's really helped me produce content into a website without really needing to rely on Lauren Ipsum anymore, okay? So at the very least, I'm able to supply a website to the customer, even if they are writing the copy and have copy in the website that already looks very legible. Okay, that's, that's the first use case. But ultimately, if you need to, if you need to write copy for the website yourself, it can create a much better version of copy than perhaps you can write yourself, okay? You can change the style of the writing, you can ask it to be longer, you can ask it to be shorter, okay? It's really, really smart. Additionally, okay, another thing that you can now do with Elementor is write custom CSS, okay? So the AI will write you custom CSS based on a series of prompts. So if you wanted to, for example, animate a button, you can ask it to write you CSS to do that. If you wanted to animate any piece of code, if you wanted to animate a card, if you wanted to create a transition, if you wanted to create a hover effect, any of those things that require custom code, you can ask it to write that code for you, which is insane, okay? It will paste that code into the CSS text area and then it will implement it and it will, it will just work, okay? Which is fantastic. You can also do this with custom code. It can write custom HTML, it can write custom JavaScript. So if you want any fancy interactions with your site, if you want any fancy custom code or functionality, you're now able to produce this using AI. Now let's address the concern. Does this mean by implementing these types of AI into Elemental, does this mean that as a web designer, we're gonna lose our jobs? Ultimately, I think no. Okay, but what this is gonna allow us to do is actually gonna allow us to speed up our workflow and produce better versions of our websites. Okay, we can supply websites to our customers with well-written content. We can create animations, we can create custom functionality, which if you are a no-code web designer, okay, if you are using Elemental, or if you don't have any clue about code, okay, this is gonna serve you very, very well. But what you will need to have is an understanding of the capabilities of what you are able to achieve with a website, okay? You need to be able to understand exactly what it is that you are asking for in order to put the prompt in and get the output that you are looking for. And that's where you will come in very, very useful. And this relates to something that I said a while back in a YouTube short, and that was, will AI replace our jobs? And the short answer is no, because that means that the client needs to know exactly what they want. And ultimately, I just don't think that they will, okay? And I don't mean that to sound, uh, sound horrible towards clients, but ultimately, the reason why they hire web designers or web design agencies is because they have a goal, but they don't really know how to achieve it. Okay, they're good at their business, they're not good at creating websites, they're not good at marketing and all of that stuff that we are good at. So I genuinely believe that there will still need to be a level of human interaction between a client and the client having their website. And that's where I think the web designer in the future is going to fit. We are still going to be able to build websites, understand the conventions of a website design, understand the conversion rate optimization and, and everything that comes, that, that plays a role in building an effective website that a customer needs in order to attract and acquire clients or whatever their goal is. A web designer is going to be that missing piece. Okay, you are going to be able to still create very custom designs, you're gonna be able to build them, but you're also now going to be able to enhance them through adding custom code, through adding custom CSS and doing things that you've seen exist on other websites, but have no idea how you would code that yourself. You can now use prompts, ask it to build you something similar that you've seen on another site and you can start implementing those things into your website. Okay, I think that's really bloody awesome. So we can use text-based, often better than what we can write ourselves. We can have custom CSS, we can have custom code on there without having to physically write that code ourselves. So as a web designer, I generally believe that we're gonna be okay. I do think we're gonna be okay and we should fully embrace this whole AI revolution and just use it to improve our workflow, improve our output and just become better versions of ourselves. Now, if you are at the start of your web design journey and you are stuck in other ways, I wanna invite you to have a look at the Agency Alchemist. The Agency Alchemist program is for web designers who are looking to improve 
their web design business, learn how to find leads, learn how to approach clients, learn what to say to clients to sign them up, to learn the process of a professional web design business so you can fast track your success. If you're interested in that, there is a link down below in the description for you to go and check that out. Guys, I genuinely believe that AI is awesome and I'm really excited to see where it goes and where it's gonna take our business. Hopefully you are too. I'm not concerned about AI. I'm actually really, really excited. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Let me know down in the description if you are using any AI tools and embracing AI and what you definitely, definitely what you think of AI within Elementor if you've tried it out yet. There's an end screen coming up anywhere here for you to go and check out other useful videos. But that's it for me, guys. Have a great day and I'll see you in another video. Bye.